Okay, welcome back. It's the Pest Control, guys. What are we talking about today? Well, how do you guys feel about occasional invaders? <laughs> and, 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 and what are they considered, right? You, you hear that term, but what is an occasional invader? Could you expl please explain that to me today? Occasionally, I hate them. Yeah, well, we, we love them, but they are problematic. And everything goes in cycles, different hatches, different seasons, with different weather, different moisture. So what are some of the like bugs? That, like that cicada thing that was supposed to come through every whatever, however yeah. many years. Okay. Yeah, what, 17 years or yeah. 27 years. Something. So cicadas, box elder bugs are a big one. Oh man, we hear about box elder bugs all the time, the little black and red ones. Yep. Um, and centipedes. Centipedes. Millipedes. Millipedes. Thousandipedes. <laughs> <laughs> Pill bugs, the little roly polies. Yep. Oh. I like those actually. Crickets. Uh, you can shoot them out of a pellet gun. Did you know shoot. that? No, I didn't okay. know that. <laughs> Don't let your kids see this. Uh, slugs. Slugs. Springtails. My wife, e even us as pest control professionals, every once in a while we'll get some of these things. Uh, those springtails that come near the windows. Yep. Stink bugs. Yeah. They're occasional invaders. Um, earwigs. I hate earwigs. The why why are eggs. they called earwigs? Because they don't have ears. No, because they no, sometimes they, will hide they crawl in your ears. Ear. Yeah. And we've like, had it happen. That uh, so that's that's kind of some of the bugs that we occasionally hear. And occasional see. invaders. All right. Um, so question number two. How do you keep bugs from coming into your home? Well, every home is different, right? Well, yeah, and not all of us have the prolific arsenal that's needed to keep them out. Yeah, so, I mean, the basic gist is you've got to manage moisture. You've got to, you know, move debris from around your home. Get rid of the food sources. Get rid of the food sources. Um, no matter how new or old the house is, it's going to have different areas where the bugs can go in. The and, and any of those cracks and, and gaps are, you want to seal those up as best you can. The house still has to breathe somewhat, but you need to get those big, basically super highways where the bugs are gonna come into the home. You gotta get those sealed up. Around here, a lot of people don't realize that looking underneath the lip of the siding, there's a gap pretty much all the way around your home. And it's, that's a big common problem here. You Which can, is fine if you've got a small lip of the siding, but if you've got something where you're sticking your fingers in or your fist, you, you've got you got a big problem. Well, some of these bugs are really small. They oh, get into anything. And again, that's why you need a professional. And you can also have somebody seal up all those areas and take care of that as well. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, guys. Number three here is another good one. I actually don't know the answer to this one, so this will be good. What is a perennial pest? Never heard of it. Well, it's a bug. <laughs> right. Several bugs. Uh, the, so they're bugs that transmit viruses to plants or perennial plants. And all of us, what? yeah, we, we spend a lot of money on our landscaping. We do not want our plants to end up dying. So a lot of times these bugs will have these diseases or these bacterias, we'll transmit them to the plants and then the plants die. Yeah, so right. like aphids and some of those pests and other bugs that either will lay eggs on the plants or eat them or just transmit it one way or another. Yeah, leaf hoppers, white leaf flies, flies. Yeah. different things like that. Interesting. Yep. Um, well, here's another good question, guys. Here's number four. Are all pests seasonal? <laughs> um, not all pests not are all seasonal. Pests, but so, some of them seem like there's better, more proficient times that they're going to be there. Like the ants that come into my kitchen in the summertime, I always have to hear my wife yell at me, yell at me about. Yeah, they're bigger in the spring and in the, the wetter climates. Um, you notice during the summer, right after it rains, you see a little bit more of the ants. So the ants are there. It's just different times of the year. You see more of them. They're more they're, prolific. And they're foraging. Spiders are there pretty much year round. But you see them more towards the end of the summer when it's dry and it's hot because they're coming out to get moisture yeah. and stuff. And we notice a lot of the Asian lady beetles mm -hmm. and um, a lot of the uh, box elder bugs. A lot of times they'll come out during a certain time of the season. It gets really cold or really hot they go away and then all of a sudden the climate's right they come back yeah so yeah somewhat seasonal but they're there and like mice you'll see them in the fall because they've been living outside and then they're going to try and get inside they fall right into your house <laughs> in the last question like always people want to know uh you know what's the be best way to get rid of these things can they can they do it on their own should they hire a company what really the best thing to do is to hire a local professional the 
and to, to be on an ongoing plan because like we said, some of these pests are gonna be what seems like seasonal. Some are gonna take some specific treatments at different times of the year. So if you're treating year round and you're using a professional that's got a good reputation and is using the right products, they can they can take care of those seasonal invaders. Well, and I've, I've talked to numerous people that have said, hey, I've got a sprayer and I've got product. The problem is, is those products are, again, typically for specific bugs they're not universal, and a lot of times those products break down in a short period of time. Whereas a professional can do it with a better product, Yeah, and the products will last longer. And, and it's more targeted too. It's very them. targeted. And if there's typically a problem, just call them, they'll come back. They'll come back. So you're saying that you can't, you can't just come out and spray my house once a year and that should get rid of everything? No. Man, it's not like the old days. Uh, you you got to come out and you got to do it, you know, seasonally or quarterly if you if you can. Okay, guys, that, that wraps up this segment. Thank you very much for your time and thanks for dropping that knowledge on me. Hey, we appreciate it. And as usual, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at the office. Our girls are here ready to help you out. Yeah, we'll answer your questions. Take care of you. See you guys next time. Take care. Hey, Ben. Yeah. What do you call a pest that's reached enlightenment? Yeah. A Budapest. A Budapest. <laughs> Sorry to all of you out there. Well, it's on the ground, but also 100 feet in the air. A centipede. <laughs> Actually, I did, but I wanted you to say the answer. Hey, uh, what do you call a rabbit with fleas all over it? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> hey, why wouldn't they let the butterfly into the dance? Wasn't dressed appropriately. It was strictly a mothball. Hey, did you know Arnold Schwarzenegger is now running a pest management company? Yeah, no. He's an exterminator. <laughs> hey, what did the priest say to the pest control guys when they were spraying? What? Let's spray. <laughs> uh.